We live in America. Last time I checked, you can have an opinion. The views in the video are mine. I'm not trying to uh, invoke religion on anyone. It's only my opinion. Yes, but your opinion is guided by your religion. By reading some of the comments on my page, I don't know why they're hate. My video wasn't hate. My video wasn't about hate. It wasn't about hate anybody or killing body, anything like that. I don't know how that was interjected into other people's uh, uh, comments. I got a second amendment too. Better believe I'm strapped. I'm not saying this just to play. I'm serious. But like I said, but anytime you say anything negative about uh, homosexuals, uh, the first thing they do is attack you. So, how do people normally react when someone says something bad about black people? Or something negative about Asian people? Or any race? Or nationality? How do people normally react to that? Before, call you homo. Why? I'm not gay. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with the gay lifestyle. Do you disagree with people being attracted to those with curly or straight hair or people with a certain skin complexion or people of a certain weight or any sort of preference at all? Do you have a problem with those things? Why is whether or not the person is a man or a woman make it just suddenly so different? Oh, that's right, your religion. You say you disagree with it. You disagree with someone having attractions. Really? If they're not hurting anybody, what difference does it make? Well, you know, your religion says otherwise, so... That's my opinion! But if I'm supposed to roll over and accept it, which to me is just a bad choice... A bad choice? So you choose what you're attracted to? You choose to be attracted to the type of woman that you're attracted to? You choose that? Or did it just kind of happen? It was just sort of subconscious. It was just natural for you. Choice? The only kind of choice that was made was done on a subconscious level. You can't blame someone for something their subconscious did. You can't blame them for a choice that they did not consciously make. And also, there's nothing wrong with having these attractions. And there's nothing wrong with going through with them if the other person is able to consent and they want it. Consenting adults. Do you not understand that? Then, why do we have murderers locked up? It's not normal. And because he made a bad choice. So there's nothing negative or hateful about comparing gay people to murderers? Um, same thing with pedophiles. We got a lot of people talking about my son. Why are you talking about my son? Should be about me, not about my son. But I guess maybe they're pedophilia in them. They want to get their hands on my son. No, it's more about you teaching your son about their traditions of sweaty men in skimpy clothing getting all physical with each other on the field. As long as they don't kiss. People who make bad choices, whether you gay, straight, there's only two type of people, traitor, not straight. You do what you do. I'm not gonna make any uh, apologies for what I said, cause I don't have to. I didn't say anything that was illegal. True, and it's currently not illegal to call someone a faggot or a nigger or a kike or you know any of the other uh, very negative names that you can give someone based on a demographic that they happen to fit. And I can ride around with a dash cam in my car. It's not illegal to do that. I'm making reference to the other video if you haven't seen it. But this is my response to any of you. And, um, of this great person that basically said they would, they want to destroy me. Oh, I'm shaking in my boots. Pretty time combat employed veteran, my realm. Yeah, I'm I'm really scared. Michael Sams. Oh, I'm oh I'm I'm afraid. I'm shaking. 
Actually, you probably would be if he actually made a pass at you or tried to kiss you. I fear no man. Yeah, you do. You fear that dick might be delicious. Didn't say anything or hurt anybody. Feelings or... Hurt, I hurt gay people. I don't care if you're gay. That's what I said in the video if you listen to it. But you think it's a bad choice, and you think it will hurt your son to see guys kissing. Yeah, um, the person's name is Bionic Dance, and I quote, This is their, their, their comments. His very existence taints the universe. Really. For you to get on, uh, YouTube and say, My very existence taints the universe. For the good of all, he must be destroyed. Yeah, Bionic Dance has some issues. She thinks religion should be destroyed. She thinks a lot of things should be destroyed. She has a problem with language. She has some issues. Uh, don't judge everyone that's making comments to you as if they think like Bionic Dance, because they don't. Now, if that doesn't sound like a threat, I don't know what a threat is. Bionic Dance. So you want to threaten me? Because I'm moral in my understanding of men and women. That I understand what my sexuality is. Well, apparently you don't because you don't even seem to realize what it is that you're watching when you're watching football or wrestling or any of those. You don't seem to be aware of what you're actually watching. And the fact that you get really, really freaked out over a kiss? And you're that uncomfortable? I mean, why not just look at it as if it's two people you think are really ugly kissing? No, no, it bothers you much further than that. And that's probably because you are confused about your sexuality. X and Y, not X and X, or Y and Y. If you want to go do what you want to do, be gay. I say that too. But I did say that the NFL should have gave us the option to watch it or not. You didn't seem upset when they didn't give you the option to watch them kissing a woman. So, you know, um... So unless, you know, watching men kiss turns you gay, there, there's really not an issue. And if, if it turns you gay, you never were straight in the first place. which. I seriously wonder about because of the way you react to this stuff. Just as I do not watch the Game of Thrones, I don't care about it. It has nothing for me. And the same thing I would say about the gay network or gay channel, NFL. A gay kiss makes the NFL the gay channel. I wouldn't watch it if I knew they were going to have two men kissing. I wouldn't watch it. I was ambushed. Ambushed. And now I'm being attacked by homosexual terrorists on the internet. <laughs> oh my god. With the rants and raves bashing me, putting words in my mouth, saying things that I didn't say. Including your whole video clip and including everything that you're saying is not taking what you're saying out of context. Totally taking everything out of context. It's not what my video was about. It's not what I said. Actually, you did, but you're too stupid and indoctrinated to know any different. Don't threaten me. Actually, nobody threatened you. Not even Bionic Dance threatened you. She just thinks that you should be eliminated. Um, although I think that's a terrible thing for someone to say, that's not saying that she will eliminate you. It's, it's not the same thing. It's not a threat. Like I said before, I'm not afraid of any man. Yeah, you are. You're afraid of gay men, and you're afraid of gay men kissing, and you're very afraid of a gay man trying to kiss you. I've stared death in the face many times. I didn't flinch and I didn't run, and did exactly what I was trained to do. Destroy it. And you complained about Bionic Dance's comment? So, Bionic Dance, with your statement, his very existence taints the universe. For the good of all, he must be destroyed.
I want you to remember this. I was told by a great general, there is no greater friend. And I was also told, one in five tenants, you can't treat these people as if you hate them. But you have a plan to kill everyone you meet. These statements are mine, my own. I'm so glad you plan on killing everyone you meet. Doesn't reflect on the United States Marine Corps or the U.S. government. Just me. A concerned parent. Who has a right to say what he wants to say. And as long as it doesn't hurt anybody. It is not constitutionally uh, constituted as cyberbullying because I didn't say anything negative towards homosexuals. Well, in this video, you certainly did. You said that it's a bad choice. And in your previous video, you basically stated that seeing gay men kiss hurts you. My video, once again, was only about the broadcast networks allowing these two men to kiss on my TV. Well, how about television's first interracial couples? I did not turn my television set on to invite that into my house, because that's something I wouldn't invite. Just like racists wouldn't invite seeing black people do this or that, or interracial couples, you know, kissing. Oh, how terrible. They didn't invite that into their households. So don't make me uncomfortable. Don't push your way into my life. Don't force your way into my house. Then turn off your fucking TV, or watch the Hallmark Channel, or watch lovely TBN. And because I disagree with you, it doesn't make me gay, it doesn't make me a homophobe, it doesn't make me a shenanigans. Yes, I said shenanigans, so what? The fact that you view it as a bad choice makes you a homophobe, period. Bring shenanigans. Beneful? Once again, America, you need to wake up. To a nice spot of tea, 